deciding not to participate in the Olympics. What have you heard from around the league and players reacting to this decision? Talking to a couple of players that were going to be on the U.S. national team, it's, it's massive disappointment. They're, they're frustrated. They're, they're a little annoyed that they aren't able to go. And, and the guys that, whether you're a 25-year-old goaltender or a 34-year-old forward, you never really know when you're going to get another opportunity. Sure, there's a Connor McDavid or a Nathan McKinnon who have a long career ahead who are locks for the rest of their careers, but a lot of guys... Every four years, you, you don't really know where you stand. So to miss an opportunity like this to play in the Olympics is frustrating. They understand it, of course. The league has to get these games in. That's their first and foremost responsibility. And and not to mention the guys that, that weren't going to go to the Olympics that had three-week breaks, and I'm sure their wives had nice trips planned for them, and then the kids to get away, and those, those have to change as well now. It's a fair assessment. Of course, Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchand, this might have been their last chance to represent Canada. Bruce Cassidy disappointed as well as he was going to be on that coaching staff. Now, as we look into what that opened up, you mentioned a three-week break in February is now eliminated because of the NHL not being in the Olympics. Do you see them using those weeks in February to help out with all these postponed games? Because when they made the decision, at this point, 50 games had been postponed this season. No question. And that's why we're at this point now. And, and to your point, Cassidy and Bergeron and Marshawn, the disappointment they have not knowing when they'll be a part of Team Canada again. The positive is they're going to get games and they're going to get a little bit more rest. Hopefully in that three week period, hopefully they get five, six more games in. that'll really release the, the load that they have. Maybe even pick up a few more games that they're crammed in on the back end, put them in February as well. So I got to imagine the schedule or the NHL schedule is having a bad Christmas, a bad holiday. He is working nonstop, but hopefully they can get as many games in in that February and try and reduce the load of a lot of the teams in March and April now. Is that going to help the Bruins at all? All the backloaded games they have now having those three weeks? It, there's no question. It, it, to, and we talked about it the other day to look at a 53, 56 games in 103 days. That's banana land, and, and now they get a huge reprieve. You, you have three weeks, like we talked about. I'm sure they're going to give guys an extra four or five days within that, uh, but but no matter what it is, you should be able to really take that number down and take off the, the three and fours that are going to come in April seemingly every week. Now talking about the current Bruins team go away from the whole league. You know, team president Cam Neely spoke with the media today, and he addressed the toughness of the team this year, saying he would address that factor of the team, bring in guys that would help up that element of them if they're available. How do you assess how tough the Bruins have been so far this season? I really like Cam's answer when it came to that question. You can't compare 2011 to 2021. So we start there. The league has changed in a massive way. There's been a big, huge shift in what's considered tough in the NHL compared to 10 years ago, 20 years ago, certainly. Now, saying that, there's still some intimidation factor, there's still some show up factor that is necessary in an NHL team. And the Bruins have the resiliency, they fight through everything, they don't get knocked off their game no matter who's on the other side. But a guy like Trent Frederick, who Cam talked about wanting more physicality from him, and looking to him to start leading in that way as a younger guy and also maybe possibly looking elsewhere out on the outside. So they are addressing it, but I like this answer that you can't just manufacture, you can't pull it out of nowhere and that it is a pretty tough team and you can't compare it to the good old days. Always love talking hockey with your Razor, especially toughness when you're wearing that sweater. I love it, man. Happy <laughs> holidays. You got to be tough if you wear this, right? I'll keep telling myself that. I wouldn't mess with you, Razor. Thanks as always, brother. <laughs> You got it.